Some might say that movement reflects the voice of the soul, from dance to touch to the way we walk. Shadows of the past can leave marks on the future, particularly when left bottled up inside. After 18 years, Janae Moon Sprinkle is using movement to help her break the silence. I have a story that needs to be told and needs to be heard, and I'm going to show you through dance and not just telling you. Like most fathers, Keon Sprinkle enjoyed teaching his daughter the simple things, like tying her shoe. But all of it was done within the confines of prison. Sprinkle was convicted of murder when Janea was a young child. For 20 years, he was incarcerated for something he did not do. He was innocent, and he always fought that he was innocent. And, you know, like, there was a lot of stories and dates, just child dates that we had to go through, and just a lot of a lot of struggles and challenges that we just had to face throughout those 20 years. Sprinkle was released from prison in February of 2020 after two decades of maintaining his innocence. Janea says it was time for her to release the internal struggles of growing up with a father behind bars. When I have all these emotions, dance is one thing that lets me get out all the emotions. Janea found a stage to share her voice through Black Voices Boston, a storytelling and movement project sponsored by the nonprofit celebrity series Boston. The project features short dance works co-created by choreographer Rafael Palacios, artistic director of Afro-Colombian dance company Sankofa Dansafro, and individuals from Boston's black community. The dance works are based on their personal stories. This is a time when we reach out to be heard. This is Black Voices Boston. One of seven participants in the project, Janae's story unfolds in a place where freedom was realized, on the steps of the Suffolk County Superior Courthouse. It made me stronger and now he's home, so it's happier. I never really shared the story unless it was like my best friend. It was really sensitive, like, throughout those times. And now she says she has found her own release from the chains of an untold story. Dance is my healing, so it was, it was really different because I never really connected with my body like that in a way and I can tell Raphael already knew like I had a real connection with my body and dance. Heroes of African descended people as a normal thing. From youthful release to seasoned wisdom. It allowed me to really hone in on speaking actually about my whole life in a little bit more than 500 words. 76 years is not easy to compress back into 700, 500 words. When accomplished artist and academic Napoleon Jones Henderson applied to be part of the Black Voices Boston project, he used three words that he says have guided his life. Affirmation, respect, and unity. A respect is that if you are living in an affirmative way, you have respect, one, first for yourself, and of course you have respect for others. Jones Henderson has long been on a journey of expression as one of the original members of Afri Cobra, a renowned black-centered artist collective. That one is a symbol that means hope. His home filled with stories through art and perspective. He has long shared his voice without using words. I don't necessarily say that people are able to hear better but they're able to hear in the first place. Because many times, and in being in each other's presence, a lot of our uh, vocal conversation is actually emitted through our presence and the spirit and the whole essence of our being with the person. That you don't necessarily hear the word, you don't even have to hear the word because you can feel the expression that's coming from the person. For his movement project, he used his artist's hands to create dance. The principal element of that routine or that movement piece is grounded in my textile weaving. Continuous movements were in fact a visual manifestation of textile weaving. The rhythms and the colors. But Jones Henderson says through movement, through the paintbrush, and through craft, all of it represents his voice. 
on the other side of some place down below where you can't see the horizon, you can't see the sunlight, there is a rebounding from that. If you're at that deep level, you still, as long as you have hope, you can move to a higher level. Now, Black Voices Boston will be available online for the next several weeks, and we will have a link on our website. The nonprofit Celebrity Series of Boston usually presents live performances, but has had to adjust during the pandemic. They continue to offer virtual and at-home concerts, including some that are available for free. Up next, finding their voice in the gym.